I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. What I say, unfiltered, unscripted, unhinged. <laughs> okay, y'all. I ain't want nothing. I just thought it was finna go down. I was like, shit, let me give me a break from Dalton and give y'all a little something, some other tea. It's getting cracking down here in Chicago. But y'all, I am sitting here waiting on my flight. As I told you guys, I'm going to be going to uh, see about getting some more federal resources to help with this Dalton situation. So I'm waiting on my flight. Um, I'll be back in the morning to go say, you know, condolences and bye to my uncle who transitioned. And then I'm gonna be at the uh, jailhouse barbecue that is now postponed from today to tomorrow due to the weather. Everybody still is asked to wear orange. But if y'all seen the tea I'm dry, I drop, y'all, what, when y'all gonna, when y'all gonna get the, the point that I don't be playing with y'all? Let me tell y'all something, never see, Ain't that receipt has been had for a while. We got tons of receipts that we didn't have for a while. And, we, you know, I tried my best to be very um, respectful of people's wishes. I tried my best to be very tactful. But I'm going to tell y'all this again. This is what I told y'all before. If I tell y'all a million things, that means there's three million things I ain't told you. I always got to follow up because people like to try to gain their strength. <laughs> People like to gain their strength. They feel like you drop something and then they'll, you know, get the little fallout, they'll fuss, and then they'll think it's over with. No. If I drop that, what else I have to drop is even better and even worse. And so I don't know about y'all, but I feel like we have officially checkmated the fuck out of child grooming predator Michael Smith. One of the things, or oh, alleged, 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 uh, so one of the things that I want to do, I'm basically, I don't know if y'all, but I'm, I'm watching his response. And so Michael, this is going to be my offer to you. Now, what I'm not going to do is to get involved or involved with any processes that are official. I can't stop those kinds of things, but I can help start them. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to say to you. I'm not going to get in the way of those processes, but I'm going to say this to you. I don't, I don't need no money. You ain't got none. I don't need no clout. You ain't got none. You can't do nothing for me. So this is your offer right now. And remember what I just said to you. If you understand that because you came into Dalton's business, stirring up all this trouble, disrespecting women, being very aggressive, giving allegations against people, insulting their intelligence, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not nice when the rabbit get the gun, is it? It's not nice when karma calls, when God calls Mama Karma to send another Negro who ain't afraid. Did y'all hear what I just said? When karma sends, when karma, when the spirit of karma jumps into a soul and then unleashes hell on the person that thought they was going to unleash hell. You see all, you see how, you see what I told y'all? Bullies can't bully. Bullies typically, bullies can't handle what they give. I have proven myself to have been able to stand against all kinds of allegations because they're not true. 
And I'm not that kind of bully. I'm not a bully. I'm a karma bully. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. But I want to thank everybody. Let me take a pause and let me thank our sponsors. And that's to everybody who resourced this fight. I want to thank our sponsors from the north, the south, the east, and the west who have given us the resources to get these amazing receipts. I want to thank those who have given the receipts. You feel me? You all have made me a step above traditional activism, and I really appreciate that because without y'all, we would not be. Now, back to our message. So what I want to tell Michael, this is the offer from me as an advocate. You're done with Dalton. You're going to get on your social media, and you're going to apologize to the residents of Dalton for your conduct and to the people of Thornton Township for your conduct and how you have not taken the second chance that you got through your lies and your and your sneaky um, uh, uh, approaches to being employed again and you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to apologize to them you're going to apologize to them for the disrespect you're going to apologize to them for the aggression. You're going to apologize to them for the insults. As a matter of fact, I personally want to hear you say, Stephanie Wiedemann, I apologize. When you do that, I want you to understand that I'm in Dalton now. And you are permanently expelled. You will not show your mug in the community again. You will not be at the next board meeting. You will not be at the next Thornton Township meeting. This is your citizen restraining order. Since you gave me verbal orders, I'm giving you one. You will not return. Tiffany needs to handle her own business because you got so much going on. You probably need to sat down and figure out how to keep your life afloat. Because God gave you a second, third, fourth, fifth. No, I can't remember how many charges. But he gave you so many chances and you keep on messing it up. What follows Jedediah is nothing. You don't get nothing after Jedediah. Because I'm complete. This is what I've always told my friends whenever they call me to help them with something. Don't call me unless you don't ever want to be able to go back. Because once I show up, I'm going to cause. You understand what I'm saying? I am a new. The fuck? I'm the nuclear. The nuclear. You understand what I said? I'm the nuclear asset. And so if you guys remember what I told you all, I said, I don't think y'all be catching what I be saying, so I'm going to help y'all out. I said that I instructed my team to investigate everybody all over again. Now, when I come at this thing, if there's nothing wrong, then all the people have to do is respond respectfully, give us clarity on the receipts, and don't upset me. You feel me? Don't upset me and don't try to make me scared. I don't get scared. I get angry. If you upset me, I dig deeper, I go harder, I release receipts. Ain't that what I said? Ain't that what I've been doing? See, so forget about all the tough stuff. If So Michael Smith is the bottom of the totem pole. We're getting prepared to go to the next person. If I have not given it over to the authorities, and if we're doing more research and I get new information, I have the ability to present that. That is what I'm telling the authorities, and that's what I mean. Okay, we won't, we won't impede any investigation, but we just basically simply raised valid questions for Michael Smith. We asked him about his conduct, and basically he chose to want to fight. Well, little dick energy should never challenge big dick energy, especially when it's not just energy. So, I don't know about the Tiffany on the Move podcast, but y'all finna fuck around and make me put my own podcast up. Because forget about what she talking about. I got the receipts. <laughs> so, okay. I think we're getting prepared to conclude the Michael Smith situation. And we're going to be turning over all of the documents to which we have uncovered at this moment to the authorities going to fully cooperate with any inquiries or investigations that have come up I would say to you here's my advice you probably should resign and consider another field and I would also like to tell you because I want you to understand how thorough and effective I am don't ever in your life put my mother's information I don't give a damn what it is nothing that is attributed to my family do you ever put on anything they have nothing to do with this. 
and we ain't a scared we're not a scary people none of us but get what i'm saying to you so that you can get what you can get this clear your lawyer who don't even know how to put down correct dates do not want to fuck with mine my lawyers are vicious they're like literally like bored okay my personal lawyers are vicious so get this you give us that apology on your page within the next 48 hours if you don't as i've continued to instruct my team if you make one false move in the wrong direction towards me or any of these residents i want you to know that our investigation have expanded into every person that you think you care about the kind of shit i got you think your job is enough let me tell you something since you said you protect your family I'll make sure that you all can spend a whole lot of time together unemployed, unhirable, undesirable, and completely shunned. You do not want to play with me when I give these kinds of warnings. My credibility is on the line. Blackballing would be the very bare minimum of your concern. But if I push the button, something happens to me or any of my family members, you upset me even a smidgen. I will cause you to have to relocate out of this country with the kind of receipts that I'm looking at. So now listen to me. You are officially my bitch. You're going to apologize to these residents. And you're going to make it your business to never ever show your face in any other meeting. Because if you don't, with facts and receipts, I'm going to make you curse the day that you ever crossed me. You understand me, Michael Smith? And tell your lawyers they send me another fucking letter. I will take that as an act of aggression and a rejection of my diplomic, di diplomacy and my peaceful offer to you and yours. Oh. It's already out there, but we're fine. I've already moved my mother's association to that address. But take it down. Because I don't want you to ever make anybody think that they could play in my fucking face. Now, with that being said, I, have, I feel like I made my case. The redacted version is on Twitter. My Twitter is Live Life Freed, F R E E D. That is a redacted version. That is him jagging off in a video to a student of his. And listen to me. It gets even worse. All right. Once he responds in 48 hours, and hopefully he does the smart thing, we move on to the next person. And I want to be clear here. Anybody that is up with the opposition, because it is opposition now, line drawn in the sand, everybody, everybody can get it. So to the people I love over there, I think you need to reconsider your stance. Because when I tell you all I have my team researching everything over again, I guess we missed a lot. And since people knowing that I'm going to pay them, do you all know that I got over 100 receipts in the last 48 hours to go through? I don't know. I don't get this. I don't get this. I don't get these people. I would have been trying to make peace with Jedediah a long time ago. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I want you all to remember this. I never, ever, ever said anything to the mayor specifically, nor have I put out the, the file of Kamal. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Everybody on y'all side, tell them to sit down. Tell them to sit down. Tell them to sit down. Let me help you all understand how serious I am about this. If you've been looking at Hell Week, it's been more so about encouraging and strengthening the residents to have their voice. I ain't messed with nobody. And when y'all leave me alone, I'll leave y'all alone. What I'm doing is simply being an advocate, going after the facts. I'm lawfully doing it. 
lawfully presenting it. And I'm trying to do it in a way that strengthens the people who I'm there for. You don't have to be a target of my affection. Stay out of the way. For example, Officer Terry Young, I believe you to be a sergeant or a lieutenant. All oh, y'all, he said. she said, you could be labeled as a cyber bully. Well, thank you for giving them something to do. These are the kinds of things that you send to me in my inbox. But if you don't think that after 15 years of doing this for y'all, I don't know what they're going to do. Literally, you can, you, can, you can charge somebody with anything. You can accuse them of anything. You have to have receipts. I'm not bullying anybody. I'm literally saying that I'm responding. And my demands are lawful. Don't be concerned about me. Resource the fight or respectfully sit back and stop trying to scare me. I don't like that. You cannot scare me. And it makes me say to my team, you guys, go get that person's information because I need to know who it is. Are you trying to, are you threatening me? Are you suggesting this to me? Are you, are you a supporter of theirs? Because everybody who understands what's going on should only be paying attention to the fact that I'm doing what I said. And what I really would like for the people who are on my side to start doing is let me know that if anything happened to me, you got my back. All of these warnings and all of these distractions and all of this, would you cause stop that shit? It's not welcomed by me. And if you call yourself loving me, take this open rebuke and, and delete your delete them kind of comments off my page. I don't need to see that kind of stuff. I, it's already hard enough having to encourage myself because you barely do it and resource my own fight to help other people like this flight. Now, can I get back to it? So we're going to be moving on to the next person in the matter. And I'm going to lawfully. All this scary shit. I'm going to lawfully, when I stand before a judge, you know what they always say? You're the advocate, right? Okay, well, if you don't have a stake in the matter and you are a community advocate, then you would know that what you just did makes me vulnerable. So send me a message in my inbox, or since you don't have a stake in the matter, hear me say on my page, I don't want that kind of language in my damn face while I'm focused on the fight that I'm fighting on. I have a lot of things coming at me, and so far we know how to handle it all. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, if you're an advocate, then I need, it should be more advocates in Dalton by now. Get you a stake in the fight, because that's what advocates do. You see injustice and you stand up. Anyway, let me, let me, let me focus. Uh, we'll go to the next one. And we're gonna keep on going as they come up. But what that is, how is that cyberbullying? That shit just blows me. We're literally responding. I have a right to respond. So listen to me, because I don't want y'all to think that that's a, a, the case or the problem. We're not making up shit or attacking people. We're putting out factual information and handling it according to the response. So with that being said, we're not worried about that. Let me, I just get, my lawyer just texted me. Hold on. Let me see what you're saying. I think my lawyer is officially entertained by this because why he keep... Oh, shit. Okay, now that was my lawyer, and then I got I just got a message from my team. <gasps> okay, y'all, so let me show y'all something real quick because this is exciting to me. I just got this from my team. So some people on my team. Y'all, they got banners. There are banners, I mean, posters or signs or whatever the hell you call this. 
Yay, they got signs for hell week. These people working hard as hell. And then this is what I was just told. Somebody just donated a banner. Oh, oh, that's nice. Somebody donated a banner. Okay. Wowzers. I don't know why y'all put my name on there. I don't know why y'all put my name on there, but let me go get me some insurance. <laughs> let me go get some insurance. Okay. Because uh, now y'all didn't, y'all didn't put me. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you, whoever, whoever donated that I graciously uh, accept your contribution to the cause. That's one less thing we got to worry about. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Well, thank you, Jesus, for people finally getting out of the mustard and catch up. That's going to be awesome. So we're going to have that banner up tomorrow at the jailhouse picnic. Y'all go take a banner with that pit, with that banner and send that on your page and then say thank you to whoever did it when y'all see it tomorrow. So anyway, uh, and what I'm understanding, I'm looking at the indicator. They're not willing to be paid for this. They donated it to the cause, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so anyway, uh, we, what, what? Hold on. I'm sorry. These I gotta pay attention to these indicators when they come. Okay. All right. So now I gotta move. Let me say this real quick, and then I'm gonna get up out of here. That video that I posted of him sending this video to a child, a minor student of his. Um, but it ain't the worst of it. So Michael has 48 hours to send that apology to y'all, say what I said, and to remove himself from this equation and let these, because if, if y'all like it or not, or believe it or not, and this is even to Michael, you make her look bad because you, she is so, you can't, you can't, you can't potential, you can't possibly help her at all. Because no matter what you say, people know who you are as it relates to what you've been charged with. You are not credible. Therefore, understand this, because you don't have credibility, anything you say for her, you actually hurt her. So if you want to protect her, you actually want to just stay silent and get out the way. There is no way that I would be saying anything to somebody I care about or saying something for somebody I care about with the kind of past you have and it actually have merit to it. You know that within your own soul. You feel me? So, and you also, uh, and oh my God. The last thing that I wanted to, and, and, and also let's be, queer, let's be clear. I said, let's be queer. <laughs> let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. <laughs> let's be clear here. Um, you, you, um, uh, 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 negative y'all. I'm good. What is that? I'm good. Negative y'all. Um, so made me lose my train of thought. These indicators is going off like a motherfucker. Somebody said you had it right. Okay, so our intelligence, queer is what he is. Who, who, who are you talking about? Blame Sandy. Are you talking about me? Okay, so let's get, let's let, let's let, here, here goes somebody, here goes somebody, I want to see what they're talking about. Blame says queer is what he is. Um, so, so, so my team, my, my veterans um, and my other team is alerting me to say this to you guys on live. We had somebody that was in our in a rally. He was next to me. Uh, we we typically we typically um, we typically monitor and research research everybody around us. So there's two people that I want to talk to you about. If you have hurt people and that's in your past, please do me a favor and stay on the outskirts of anything that I'm doing. 
because there are two people who I'm going to have to approach and ask you to please take a step back away from me because my research team has identified you and we identified something that you did that's a little less than above board. I can't say this to Michael Smith about Tiffany. If I got, if I'm knowingly now knowing somebody that's standing next to me is culpable in something that they've harmed people. There are two people. Um, the police did make mention of somebody having a firearm at that meeting. I can't control everybody, but get this. If you come to any action that I have, and this is what I told them, if somebody got a firearm, I don't know if I believe that, you guys should have addressed it. People also have concealed carry permits, so I'm, I don't care about that kind of stuff. However, y'all ain't gonna never set me up too smart and too far ahead of that. But I want to say, I want to say to two people, there are two people who come to action that have questionable information. You shouldn't be next to me in camera. This is, and I'm going to talk to you directly, but I'm saying this to everybody, okay? Um, and I'm going to share this information with our collaborative partners because one of them is very concerning. Um, but uh, as far as Michael Smith is concerned, I need him to consider himself checked, consider himself warned, and I want you to stay the fuck away from dog. I want you to shut your mouth and I want you to go get some help for your, at, your your behavior and your attitude, but you decide to do that on your own personal time. I don't know if your wife's seen the video yet, but I hope that she does see it so that you all can have a conversation as a household about why you would be jagging off on social media to anybody and sending it to them. That is very, very interesting and strange behavior for a married man that wants to present himself in the public, you should probably stop minding the business of Dalton, get your affairs in order, and just play with somebody on your level because you're not on my level. So this is what they say. They say this. Go play in traffic if you choose to, but don't play with us. And again, if I put that out, it gets worse, right? Think about it. I don't just use my research team my collaborative partners, I use God. I go, I go talk to a prophet. I'll talk to a whole lot of people. I will go back as far as your childhood and give them things that you think that nobody could figure out about. And when you put money on the table, people start popping up out of the woodworks and giving receipts because these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> and people need money. You feel me? So with that being said, uh... Again, somebody said, we got video. Yes, we got video. It is on my Twitter page. It is redacted because I will not be doing a revenge porn. But the real video is going to the authorities. And he has the opportunity to stop, stop the onslaught. <laughs> he has the opportunity to stop the onslaught if he apologized to the residents of Dalton. And he specifically named Stephanie Wiedemann and apologized for his behavior and his conduct and removed himself from this equation totally he does not have my permission see this is what happens when you become my bitch you don't have my permission to work in education but i do understand that everybody must eat i want you to eat but you just can't eat with children involved so maybe you can apply to be like a janitor or maybe you can do something that is put up far away from children in another field maybe you may want to consider going back to school doing some factory work um, go to a temp service, uh, sell weed. I, I think weed is legal now. Maybe sell some drugs. Um, you could do a whole lot of other things, but as it relates to education, you don't have my permission anymore. And the reason why is because I asked you, like a man, to step back from this, and you didn't want to do that. You wanted to show that you thought you were tough. You want to call me names, and then you wanted to send me documents. If nothing was done wrong, then we could have had a conversation as men and this could have been over with. But then you wanted to go as far as putting my janitor right. And I ain't not for schools, not for schools. You could go over there and work with Andrew. I think they got janitors needed over there at CTA. Second chances. With on this, in this case, it's going to be a tenth chance. But I think that they would allow you to work for CTA, janitor over there. Um, I don't ride the CTA often, but I'll make sure that I'll come through. If I'm riding on the CTA, I help you out. I pick up some trash, throw it in the garbage for you so you don't have to work so hard. But you're not in schools no more. You are no longer allowed to work in schools. I'm going to make sure that if I ever find out that you're in a school, and if you do anything, that we're going to 
share the information. And then the question becomes very clear. What school would hire a man with a past like that? Especially one that involved children. What school would do that? What school, and then you can't say that you changed because your behavior is still aggressive and egregious as it relates to how you handle these people who you have nothing directly to do, to deal with or do with. I love when we all on the same page. I ain't got no more fear tactics put on my page. I like that. And so to, can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That ain't the name. I can't remember the name. Of that. Can, I, can I pet that dog? And to, and to the man dog, oop, not doing that. To anybody who love Michael, I would encourage you right now because he has addressed you on social media. See what this man is doing. If you love Michael, do me a favor. This is when you go to him and have an intervention. You sit around in a circle and you say, Michael, leave that motherfucker alone. <laughs> this is when you show him that you love him. Leave that man alone for your own sake. Leave that man alone. Tell him that for your sake too. Because I have researched and am investigating everybody. Everybody. Pastors, childhood friends, siblings, cousins. If you ain't got no kids, I have done an eight. I got my investigators looking into all your sperm individually. All, every, all, mil, all the millions of them. I don't know. I don't, we don't have a direct, we don't have an, an exact number of how many sperms you have. We just know they don't got a long route to travel. So it ain't going to be hard for us to spot them. You feel me? Little dick energy. We don't, they don't have a long route. It's not a long distance to get to them. And so we will interview them all individually. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I will get every bit of information about what you tried to get them to do. What you tried to send them and have them go. And if you don't do what I've asked you to do, we will report to the people what kind of person you are. We're not going to defame. We're not going to bully. We're going to give the facts. Okay. So I really think I made my point in my case. Sitting here at the airport. That's how wonderful I, I, I That's how much I love my, my, my purpose. Nigga, I'm sitting here waiting on the air and on my plane to go to D.C. to deal with with the other motherfucker who think they're going to get away with doing things they ain't supposed to be doing. And all these other motherfuckers who, ain't, who think they're getting away with doing stuff they ain't supposed to be doing. And what I'm doing sitting here working and checking my bitches. Checking my bitches. You got to keep your bitches in order. And then it's crazy because I would have never got on nothing talking about some, I got mad life, and they give you lawyers. Well, you know people could research that. So you mean to tell me you get one cease and desist letter a year, and they don't even proofread that shit? Boy, you better sit your ass down. <laughs> the homeless people, this, the year of exposure, the homeless people ain't fucking around. So, okay. And let me take my homeless ass and get ready to get checked in at TSA so I can take my homeless ass to my other house in D.C. I live everywhere. And to the, to the public, once again, I'm going to ask you, consider resourcing this fight. Y'all see we ain't fucking around and playing. I want to get so much stuff done, but I, I can't do it all by myself. So you can consider contributing to the cause. If y'all don't want to march and all, Contribute to the cause. Help us to resource this fight. Now, who next? Who y'all want me? Well, I'm not asking y'all no more. Y'all don't get to that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not letting y'all ask me no more. It's 400 motherfuckers on this line, and I had 40 people show up to the last march. I'm not asking y'all nothing. Y'all came on here because y'all thought I was finna show some more skins. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all want me to show y'all these people's booties. 
because you're nasty. That's what y'all came on for. Oh, shit, Jedediah finna come on to talk about that video with Michael. He might show it, girl. I ain't got Twitter. <laughs> I'm walking through the airport. This lady said, I watch you every day. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I hope I said something that added value to your life. I'll be popping my shit doing Somebody going to kick my ass. <laughs> I said, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm 37. I ain't as young as I used to be. Now, I can fight now, but I'm going to go ahead and do me. I'm going to go learn me some ta Taekwondo because I ain't got the energy I used to have, nigga. I need to be able to push pressure points at this point, at this point, because I don't know who want to fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway as i typically tend to do i'm gonna take six five questions i got a little more time before my flight stop trying to send me away so safe travel safe travel i'm i'm gonna take my, my my i mean my five questions and then i'm gonna get off of here and we're gonna try to get off of michael he got 48 hours contribute to the cause please jay can't do it all by itself thank you lindy you know, you nationally known. Uh, let, and let me say that while y'all doing that. They need to get us a, a just subscription. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to go in here and create a... Uh, nah, I ain't going to do that. That will be so wrong. I ain't trying to get paid off of these people's receipts. But I definitely feel like they said you could create a Patreon page or... I, or, or why don't I, would y'all... <laughs> Maybe I should make an OnlyFans. <laughs> So I ain't got to keep asking people to contribute. Y'all can make an OnlyFans, and I can put up the videos, the real videos, in the OnlyFans, and just talk about the, what, what's going to be in dropped in. <laughs> I'll be going straight to jail. Y'all ain't going to get me. Um, you know what's the, and, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me, I'm just talking. I'm just getting stuff in my head. I want to talk my shit. But this is what I want to say. I think it's funny. Y'all don't know how to be real. Stop being fake with me. I don't like fake stuff. Okay? Don't be fake with me. And let me tell you what I mean by that. People on there talking about some, ugh, I don't want to see that. And then you come in my inbox talking some, Jed, can you show me the video so I can help with the investigation? <laughs> <laughs> you just said on the page, you don't want to see that. Don't disturb your day. Then you come in my inbox talk some, Jay, you know I love you, Jay. Can I see the video of Michael? And then they say, and I do you got do you got the redacted version? You know I don't want to see no nasty, perverted stuff like that. But if you showing people to make us aware, just send it to this account. My lady literally got on there and said, Well, since you got the redacted version on there, can you send it to all our inbox? You think I'm gonna send this shit to a thousand people's inboxes? You crazy. Y'all be really playing the people's face. Somebody said, oh my God, no, he didn't. But where the video at? <laughs> Can I see the video? I would never want to see nothing like that. But since you showing it, let me go ahead and look at it. Y'all, I'm so tired of people. I'm so tired of people. They don't want to say it on live. You got, yeah, the church people too. I'm going to pray for him, Jed. But where the video at? Let me see what you talking about. I know he ain't doing nothing like that. Just say you want to see it. But you ain't going to be impressed. Have you ever seen a video in the turn you on? But then you see a video, another video in the same situation and it be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it be offensive as hell. <laughs> I'm offended for my eyes. Have y'all ever had that happen to you? I'm offended. <laughs> some people can get naked and it's like, damn. And some people can be offended and it just, I'm offended. Somebody get naked, it's, I'm, I am fucking offended. <laughs> I'm fucking offended. And, and then even just because of what they did with it, like, I'm offended by the video. I'm, I'm offended that the video exists. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't went too far and too long and too off track. Y'all ain't got no questions. I don't ever want to see a little thumb. 
Motherfucker can't tell me he was mixed. I know he was mixed. But I don't want to say what nationality he could be mixed with because I don't want to offend nobody. But I'm telling y'all, I don't think he just black. Look at Amanda. Send it to me. Amanda, you, you got it. See, I like, the, I like that bold shit. I like the real shit. Okay, anyway. And I'm so... Okay, y'all got no questions and I'm just shooting the shit right now, but I feel so sorry for his wife. Girl, get out. Get out while you can. Just go. You're never going to get no orga orgasm with that kind of situation. The thing that's crazy to me is, the thing that's crazy to me is, he. I know he can't eat the cat, right? Because the dog bit his lip. He can't eat that, right? The dog bit his fucking lip. But then on top of that, on top of that, you might as well be a lesbian. Since y'all bumping coochies, <laughs> you bumping coochies. It's like, it's like, it's like, while God was making, making this situation, Jesus must have started praying for somebody real effectual and God looked away and forgot to come back to him. Or, or, or maybe they, they ran out of clay. You think they ran out of clay in heaven? Jesus had to send some angels to go get some more clay and he just said, you know, well, fuck this one. Go and move to the next one. We got a time frame. People down on earth fucking. We got to send these babies down there real quick. It's <laughs> the only explanation I can get. They ran out of clay. It was not enough people in heaven doing their job and heaven ran out of clay. They had more fucking than they had supply. He said, okay. Well, we don't want to do them both. Let's give him all his fingers, toes, give him his arms, give him his legs. But yeah, we out of clay. Well, sorry, son. Don't run your mouth. You gonna need that. Don't don't run. Now you know what. Okay. So yeah, you you apologize by forty eight hours to the people of Dalton. I ain't worried about me. I need my bitches. And you, you apologize specifically to Stephanie Wiedemann. And start considering where you want to work. Because there's no way you should ever work around children. Okay? And if they wasn't calling me so gay, Girl, I would have helped you escape. But I ain't even gonna lie. You bring a lot to the table. I probably wouldn't even know what to do with it. I probably wouldn't even know what to do with it. But I will tell you this. You fuck around with a nigga like me. I'm full of passion. And that's what I'm telling y'all. I think he called me out of my name too. I will show her something she ain't never seen before. And what the what the what the what the thing I will fly out to a place that she didn't know exist. And I will take all the passion and all the stress. She'll be like, Michael, who? I'll be like, girl, you know Michael. <laughs> So shit, anyway, Lord have mercy. Now somebody said, let me see. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. All right. I love y'all. He better not play with me ever again. I love y'all. Sorry if I went too far for you. This is my page. I'm not an employee of anybody. I'm going to talk my shit. But one thing y'all cannot say is that I won't be effective. I love you. Hear me loud and clear. I mean, not I love you. I hope I said something that added value to your life. Chicago, I love you. Dalton, I got your back. America, sometimes you be tripping. I love you with action. Y'all, 
I'll see you tomorrow when I get back from D.C. fighting for y'all. I need y'all to be at this picnic. Michael gonna march across that field. <laughs> he gonna try to kick my ass. <laughs> he gonna be stomping like a motherfucker. He gonna be marching over there to me, boy, when it come tomorrow. He gonna be at that motherfucking picnic. But I best, this is my advice. You better march your ass right over there, get in line, and get you a hot dog and go sat down. But seriously, it's over with. No more fucking with Dalton. No more fucking with Thornton Township. I promise you. The, the receipts we got to release, you'll never recover from that. And there ain't none of that stuff made up. It's all factual and true. You said you don't, you don't play about your family. Well, don't let me tell the world the stuff that we found. You've been warned. You got 48 hours. And don't make me mad. Because this all stops. When you sat out. Okay. See you tomorrow. Wear orange. Dalton Park District. 6 o'clock. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.